thank you very much for the lesson. Yes, yes, you're welcome. All right, I, I'll see you on Tuesday. Goodbye, Michael. Hello, everyone. My name is Dolly and I'm a teacher. No one doubts we as teachers play a significant role in shaping students' lives, even if we do not realize that. But who is a good teacher? Being a great teacher is not only about extensive and deep knowledge of a subject, or talent for sharing this knowledge, or passion for professional development. It goes without saying. Good teachers are patient, they understand students and help them become better human beings. Teachers inspire with their enthusiasm and change the view of the world. Teachers have an impact that goes far beyond the classroom. Great teachers change the world. Aristotle said, those who educate children well are more to be honored than they who produce them, for these only gave them life, those the art of living well. So parents just make babies, it's teachers who turn them into people. It's time we go talk to your dad. Let's remember some extraordinary teachers from history who transformed people's lives and find out how they did it and what made them special. Savitri Pai Pule was the first woman teacher in India. She is known for standing for women's rights and abolishing discrimination based on caste or gender. She built 18 schools and encouraged women education. The number of girls receiving their education at the Fule schools outnumbered the number of boys enrolled in government schools. What does that teach us? To be innovative and inspiring, not to be afraid to start something from scratch. Anne Sullivan Anne Sullivan was known for being the educator of Helen Keller, a famous author and political activist. She was blind for a long time in her life. But she had recovered part of her eyesight by the time she started educating Helen Keller, who was deafblind. During six months, Blind Keller learned 575 words, multiplication tables, and the Braille system. As a result of Sullivan's education, Helen Keller could get a degree in college. There is also a movie based on this story, which is called The Miracle Worker. What does Anne Sullivan teach us? We always can get results where other teachers fail. We have to find an individual approach for each student and uh, be creative. The next great teacher was an exceptional Maria Montessori. Her main and revolutionary idea was that children teach themselves. Oh, thank God. Thank God. As children are mobile, they learn better from their surroundings rather than from being made sit still and listen to a teacher. As a result, she adapted the classroom environment for children. She replaced the heavy furniture with the child-sized tables and light chairs. She included lots of practical activities such as sweeping, flower arranging, hand washing, gymnastics, care of pets and cooking. When children work independently, they become more autonomous and motivated. What does Maria Montessori teach us? We need to observe our students and provide them with more chances of discover learning, help them become more independent and autonomous. Another particular best teacher was Jamie Escalante. He worked at one of the poorest and most underperforming schools in America. His approach was to challenge students rather than go by the book. His calculus class was meant to prepare students for college calculus test. The number of his students who passed the test was increasing every year. There is also a movie about Escalante called Stand and Deliver. What does Jamie Escalante teach us? Challenge students, be persistent and demanding. Stick to high standards to grow top-level students, not mediocre. However, not only real teachers change our mindset. There were many movies about teachers who influence us too. Great, I'll make popcorn. Dead Poets Society is a film about the English teacher John Keating. He wants students to make their lives extraordinary. For example, on his lessons, students take turns standing on their desks to demonstrate ways to look at life in a different way. Keaton meets lots of confrontation from administration and other teachers as they want him to stick to traditional methods of teaching. As a result, he's being fired on his last day of work and all of the students salute Keaton with the words, Oh Captain, my Captain. Why did students love him? Why was he great? He inspired students, made them feel that they're individuals. He made them fight themselves. He was the kind of teacher who not only instructed but also change the students' lives. The next movie is Detachment. It is a gloomy story about a substitute teacher, Henry Barthes, 
who wants to make a difference in a standardized school system and meets lots of challenges. Why is this teacher great? Henry shows that any teacher can and must make a difference. Teachers need respect and support. Their creativity and imagination should be encouraged. At the same time, he shows that every teacher can better the lives of the students simply by caring enough about them. Another movie, Half Nelson, is about a troubled but committed history teacher, Dan Dunn, who becomes friends with one of his students after he finds out that the student is a drug addict. Dan teaches through stories, through raising controversial questions and setting discussions. Why is he great? Dan Dunn isn't didactic. He doesn't simply give instructions or lectures. He provokes thinking and debates. He guides his students to find the answers. We hope you found inspiration in these stories about teachers, or real or fiction, and would be able to transfer all that into your lessons. When teaching teenagers, you may find yourself in a situation when you have to recommend some career options for them, so why not teaching? Allow me to inspire you. Now it's 21st century, and you don't always have to stand up on your desk to inspire students. Moreover, you might not even have a desk when you're teaching online. For example, in the mountains. For example, on the beach. So join our team of Sky Ang teachers and teach from any part of the world online. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, captain, my captain!